Dear Father, I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you for the battles that you fight for me, those which are seen and those which are unseen. Father, I ask for divine protection. You know my struggles, Lord. You know what I am fighting against. You know what I am facing. I pray that you open my spiritual eyes so that I may realize the authority that you have given me through your word. The authority that's in your name. Lord, make your ways known to me. May I become familiar with your presence. May the Holy Spirit always bring to my memory the power that I have as a child of God who believes and is saved by Jesus Christ. May the Holy Spirit always remind me of my identity in the Kingdom of God and may the Holy Spirit remind me of the promises in your word. Promises that tell me that I am above and not beneath. Promises that tell me that I am blessed in the morning and blessed in the evening. Promises that tell me that I am the head and not the tail. So help me to walk and carry myself as a child of God who knows their identity. May all of my ways be pleasing to you. May my faith be pleasing to you, Lord. Your word tells me, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. And I declare today that I trust in you, Lord. I trust in you for victory in every area of my life. I trust in you for a breakthrough. I trust in you, Father God, to see me through in times where it may look as though the devil has the upper hand. But I will forever trust in you because you are my refuge and my fortress. If Jehovah be our God, our refuge and our fortress, then I have full confidence that whatever I may desire, whatever I may want and need can be found in you, because you are a God who is not weak, you are neither fickle nor false, you are a God who is not like man, and therefore there is no danger of me being disappointed by placing my trust in you. I thank you, Lord, for being in my life. You are the Lord God Almighty, the Great I Am. You are the chief cornerstone of my life and I choose to trust in you. You provide me with shelter from life's storms, from life's difficulties. And Father, I speak the blood of Jesus Christ upon each and every person listening who is in need of victory of triumph, of breakthrough. Make a way for them, Lord. Make a way for each and everyone in agreement, Father. I decree and declare that the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. I pray, Father, that you give us the strength to stand strong and unwavering in faith. Holy Spirit, help us to walk by faith and not by sight. We look to you, O God, a mighty God who moves mountains, a God who breaks down every barrier. You break down the walls of Jericho in our lives, Father, and we have confidence that regardless of the things happening around us, regardless of everything that may be going on in this world, all things will work together for our good because we trust in you. And at this time, King Jesus, we ask for peace and direction. At this time, though we may not understand everything going on, though we may face some uncertain circumstances, in the middle of all of this, Lord, make a way where there seems to be no way. Lead us, Father. 
and so I call for your help. I cannot do this alone, I cannot fight this battle alone. As I pray, Lord, even for the person who is listening, whatever it is that they are wrestling with, be it in their spirit, in their minds, in their bodies, whatever area of their life that's coming up against opposition, I call on the name that is above every name. I call on you, King Jesus. Set us free, because whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Your word says in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. And so we seek your face, Lord Jesus. We come to you, Father, we come and bow down before your throne, asking for your help. We are asking for a supernatural breakthrough. Move in, Holy Spirit. Be our comfort at this time. Your word has given me the promise that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I declare that no weapon formed against my family will prosper. I declare that no weapon formed against my mental health will prosper. I declare that no weapon formed against my finances will prosper in Jesus' name. And Lord, even while the enemy roams to and fro looking for whom he may devour, I stand by the power that's in the blood of Jesus Christ. I stand by the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I give you the throne to my heart and I bless your holy name. You stand above all, above any principalities, above any ruler of wickedness. There is none and there is nothing that can stand against you. And so I call upon your name. I believe that you will give me a breakthrough. Even though my eyes may not be able to see it now. I believe by faith and I believe that you are working on my behalf and you are working for my good. Lord Jesus, I pray for wisdom and discernment in this season. Help me to walk by faith and not by sight. Your word in Exodus 14 verse 14 says, The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And I pray that you fight my battles, Lord. Keep me from falling for the tricks of the enemy. Be a lamp unto my feet so that I may be saved from the path that is filled with unrighteousness and evil. Open my spiritual eyes so that I may have discernment against the schemes of the enemy. I speak the blood of Jesus upon all of my circumstances right now. The blood of Jesus which rises up to defeat all evil. The blood of Jesus which is my source of victory. Birth in me a desire to seek you, Lord. I will draw near to you, and I ask that you draw near to me, Father. Quicken my spirit so that I may not fall for the deception of the enemy. I pray for the light that is Jesus Christ to shine in my life. Destroy the darkness. Your word in Hebrews 12 says, You are a consuming fire meaning that you are a God who is powerful and holy. And so I ask that you burn away any cloud of confusion over my life. Burn away any spirit of fear that may try to attack my life. I come against the spirit of depression. I speak peace over my life. I thank you for being a faithful God. You are a God who will never leave me nor forsake me. I thank you for hearing my prayer, Father, and every single person who is in agreement, Lord, listening. Bless their lives, Lord Jesus. Fill their lives with peace. Give them a peace that is beyond all understanding. Because we look to you, Lord, 
we look to you in every aspect of our lives. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your abounding grace. We will trust in you for you are a sovereign God who has charge over our lives. You are a God who is faithful to deliver those who trust in you. Blessed be the name of King Jesus Christ. Thank you for victory. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you, Father God, for making a way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.